Folks, I think we should address this political phenomena going on right now, and that's the fact that Trump's 2024 presidential campaign has been a bit of a nightmare so far. Granted, the campaign is only three weeks old, so as we know, anything can happen in politics, but so far in this short-lived campaign, he has faced setbacks in court and dismal polling results at the general level as well as the primary level. He's had scandals of his own making and most recently, his organization was convicted of tax fraud. Quick side note, thank you so much to everyone who entered our 20,000 subscriber cash giveaway. We drew the winners the other night, random live on camera. And that link is down below in the description of this video if you haven't seen it yet. So thank you so much to everyone who entered. Congratulations to the winners. You've already received your prizes. The funds have been sent. Thank you, thank you. And more cash giveaways will be coming as we move up in the ranks of the subscriber count. So make sure that you are subscribed. Very important because more cash giveaways will be announced in the future. Now, he doesn't have an opponent just yet, right? He's the only Republican that has thrown his hat in the ring for 2024. But the midterm elections, if they're indicative of what could happen in 2024, well, they were very disappointing and not a good look for the GOP. Now, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, he has not confirmed or announced his expected bid for the presidency, but it is widely anticipated that he will be Trump's rival in the 2024 Republican primary elections. And when you look at the newest polls that just came out, Trump has been pitted against Ron DeSantis and he is trailing big time. This has stirred even more unease for Trump world. Let's take a look at some of these numbers. They do not bode well for the former president. This is a brand new poll of possible GOP contenders for the 2024 presidential race. It includes the former president and it's a Deseret News Hinckley Institute of Politics poll of Utah voters and it found DeSantis with a decisive lead in a hypothetical Republican presidential primary at 24.2%, followed by Cheney with 16.4%. Now, where's Trump? Well, Trump came in at third place with 14.6%, nearly two points below Cheney and nearly 10 points behind the Florida governor, the latest indication that the former president's popularity might be slipping. Of course, Cheney lost her House re-election bid during this year's midterms to a Trump-backed challenger after she drew the former president's ire for her efforts to impeach and investigate him for his role in the January 6, 2021 U.S. Capitol riot. And certainly well before Trump announced his campaign for 2024, after his term at the White House, he has had mounting issues and problems. Let's just take a look at some of them. Like Justice Department Special Counsel Jack Smith, who subpoenaed local election officials in Arizona, Michigan, and Wisconsin for their communications with Trump and his allies as part of the department's investigation into Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Then you have House January 6th Committee Chairman Benny Thompson, who said that the committee is closing in on making criminal referrals to the Justice Department with a final decision expected by the end of the week. The Trump Organization was convicted by a New York jury of conducting a 15-year scheme to defraud state and federal tax authorities and faces up to $1.6 million in fines. Trump and his family members involved in the business were not charged, though. Then just backing up these last couple weeks, Trump has drawn massive criticism and backlash from everyone, including Republicans, for hosting Kanye West, now known as Ye, who has made some largely anti-Semitic remarks over these last couple months. And he also hosted white nationalist Nick Fuente at the dinner and also Trump has now called for the suspension of the Constitution. An appeals court dropped the Trump team's effort to appoint a special master to review documents seized from Mar-a-Lago. Supreme Court denied Trump's bid to block the House Ways and Means Committee from obtaining his tax returns. In addition, a federal judge ordered Trump's former White House lawyers to provide additional grand jury testimony dealing a blow to Trump's attempt to exert executive privilege in the Justice Department's investigation into the January 6th Capitol attack. Obviously, this is just a tiny percentage of the scandals and endless bad headlines that Trump has faced over the last several years. And as we've become fully aware of, GOP primary voters and GOP general election voters have essentially become immune to all of it. And so just take this with a grain of salt. This doesn't mean that Trump's campaign is over and 2024 is not a possibility. 
anything could happen from here on end. And obviously Biden's approval ratings could also tank from here. He's had a pretty good last several months, but that could change as well. So just take this all with a grain of salt and understand that anything could take place. Of course, it is extremely early too soon to call, but let's make some early predictions. What are your thoughts, guys, on 2024? What do you think will happen? Do you think Trump will have some challengers, including Ron DeSantis and Liz Cheney, or do you think Trump's really just going to be the front runner throughout the entire race, and it will be a rematch, another Trump versus Biden race? Let us know what your thoughts are down below in the comment section. I'm curious to hear. And also, Biden has not necessarily declared 100% that he will be running again in 2024. And so that could also change. You just never know. Biden has said that he wants to talk it over and sit down with his family. And I think an announcement will be coming soon with the new year. So we'll stay tuned for that. All updates and developments can be found right here on this channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up, smash a like button. I would appreciate that. Make sure that you are subscribed and have notifications turned on so that way you don't miss another video. Share the video with a friend, get the word out, spread it on social media. If you want to get some free stocks, all me, all free, use the links down below in the description of this video. Sign up with the brokerage platforms, Robinhood and or Webull. You'll get some free stocks, some valued to thousands of dollars in some cases. So let us know what stocks you get. And if you want to connect with me on social media, I am on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I am on TikTok. Use the social links down below. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Take care for now.